Hey guys, it's Tyler here. Today I'm gonna share my experiences in the state of Hawaii. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Before the coronavirus was a thing, I was in the state of Hawaii back in 2019 with my family. My family and I were on the island of Kauai and it's known for being the first island of the whole entire state. I live in the state of Maryland and the trip from Maryland to Hawaii was very long. I'm talking about 12 hours, 12 hours of Coca-Cola and snacks. When my family and I arrived in the state of Hawaii, I thought that the place was very beautiful. There's tons and tons and tons of forests. There's tons and tons of gardens. A lot of green across the whole entire island. When I show the picture to you guys, it seems very fake. However, what I took pictures of is not fake. It's absolutely legit. Everything in that whole entire island is just beautiful and just breathtaking. During my vacation in the state of Hawaii, I learned some new words in Hawaiian. Now, Hawaii has, of course, two languages, English and Hawaiian. And Hawaiian is the native language of the Hawaiian people, but most people are bilingual. Now, the words that I learned in Hawaiian are kind of simple, basic stuff. For example, aloha means like hello, goodbye, or I love you. Mahano means, of course, like, you know, uh, family. And, of course, like, there's also tutu, which means grandma. And also these other kind of words, like mahalo means uh, thank you. And so, basically, when I was in Hawaii, I kind of picked up on some of the words because a lot of the people say these words all the time. I cannot talk about the other islands, but during my trip in the island of Kauai, I found nothing but chickens. There were chickens at garbage places. There were chickens on the road. There were chicken by houses. There were chicken everywhere. Honestly, I prefer chickens than dogs, cats, and other animals on the streets. And the best part of all of this is the fact that I don't need a clock for the morning. I have the chicken for that. Kauai is the preferred filming location for many movies in tropical islands. For example, the Jurassic Park movies, Godzilla, and other TV shows like Lost were filmed and the island of Kauai. And of course, I cannot talk about the state of Hawaii without talking about a luau. Now, a luau is like a party, an event, where people are together, and we eat food, there's dancers, it was a lot of fun. <laughs>
My time in the state of Hawaii was very different than other states. I visited New Mexico, Nevada, and these other places like my state, uh, Virginia. And Nevada, New Mexico had a very Hispanic influence. Meanwhile, Hawaii has a very Polynesian, Asian, and North American influence. And it reflects that on the food, on the people, and on the culture. Many Native Hawaiians are polytheists, meaning that they believe in many different gods. They have various different mythologies of their own. They used to be part of like their own personal kingdom before they became a state of our country. And so the history of Hawaii is very fascinating. The people are very nice. The history is also something I want to research more in my free time. And of course, I want to visit it again and again and again. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below, and I'll talk to you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I won't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.